music nerds let's fix the camera a little bit here or not that was not good anyway good morning thank you for being here on the replay if that's where you're at happy friday my name is christine i am a member of the prairie girls and each and every weekday morning i bring you a new and amazing word of the day for you to add to your vocabulary so that you can sound smarkles hello laurel my sweet beautiful friend from the other side of the country how are you this fine friday morning all right so today's word of the day is a christmas word so, please forgive me, I'm actually going to read out of a Bible for a little bit first today, okay? Not giving away, again, any of my political views or religious views, but I'm reading out of a Bible because of today's word of the day, all right? So, to give it a little context, I'm going to read out of Matthew chapter 2, verse 11. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. M-Y-R-R-H. Myrrh. Myrrh is today's word of the day. Now, I'm sure you've heard the word myrrh before. Whether it's in the Christmas story or when you're watching something on TV and they're talking about the three wise men and the whole story of Jesus and all of that. Even if you're not a Christian, you've probably at some point heard the word myrrh associated with Christmas, okay? Because I know there's a lot of stuff around Christmas that happens whether or not you're a Christian, people are going to talk about it. It just kind of happens, right? Whether or not you're a Trump supporter, a lot of people are talking about Trump, good and bad. So um, so today's word today is myrrh, and I want to tell you guys what myrrh means. So first of all, let's spell it again, M-Y-R-R-H. We got double R's in there, all right? Myrrh is an aromatic resin burned as incense and used in perfume. So, once upon a time, when they didn't have showers in everybody's homes, you had to do something about the smell. Now, these three kings traveled all the way from the Orient to Jerusalem. They were traveling a long time, and I'm guessing they didn't have a portable shower with them. And they probably didn't have a Motel 6 to stop in at, catch a few Z's, shower, shave, do that other thing that people say that starts with SH, you know what I mean? So what they would do is they would take myrrh and they would rub it on themselves or spray it on themselves to cover the scent of their body odor. So it's an aromatic resin that's burned as incense or used in perfume. So that's why myrrh and frankincense were so huge back then. People were like, so what? They gave them frankincense and myrrh. I don't even know what that is. Well, now you do. They're perfumes that they used to cover their body odor and to make their homes smell better when they had 16 stinky people all hanging out in their living room or room because most of those places had a room. It was the kitchen. It was the dining room. It was the family room. It was the living room. It just was. It was the room. All right? So... There is your fabulous Friday edition of Word of the Day. Your Word of the Day is myrrh, M-Y-R-R-H, an aromatic resin burned as incense and used in perfume. And if you want to find it in the Bible to use some context, it's again the book of Matthew, chapter 2, verse 11. All right, so Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, and Kwanzaa's not till next week. So I'll say Merry Kwan Happy Kwanzaa next week. Um, hey, Smartphone, I was just wrapping it up. Um, but yeah, so you guys have a wonderful holiday season. Have a great weekend. If it's just a weekend for you, that's awesome too. Um, it's a three-day weekend for most of us. He's trying to get the hearts. So if you guys keep dropping hearts, they'll try to catch him in his mouth. <laughs> I think you're missing. Um, but yeah, so have a wonderful weekend. I will see you on, let me see, do I have a word for Monday? Do I even have a word for the 26th? Yeah. I do. So I will be back on Monday morning. So if you're on vacation on Monday, if you have a holiday on Monday, be sure to tune in um, at about the same time. It'll depend on how late we decide to sleep in. Or you can catch me on the replay. All right. So until then, happy holidays. Happy uh, Hanukkah. Merry Christmas. I love you all. Be good to yourselves. Be really good to one another, especially this time of year and all year long. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Until then, mwah. bye now. Bye.